In this video, I'll be presenting my YouTube OS that I use to publish videos blazing fast. Coming up. This is my main dashboard for my live operating system. And if I scroll down, you can see in the system, I manage all the areas of my life, including my content creation, coaching, team management, and whatnot. Here you can see I have marked some of these areas as content channel. It means in these pages, I will be managing my content creation. And if I go to my create dashboard, all the areas that are marked as content channels are being displayed here which includes my blog, YouTube channel, and also my newsletter. When I go to my YouTube channel, here you can see I have a quick link to my channel, have a list of my competitors, some wiki docs for my teammates, you know, checklists and process documents. For example, I have this uh, document on YouTube topic research, uh, video scripting, and also I have this uh, video editor checklist and this inspiration page that helps my video editor to know what kind of edits that I like and it helps reduce the revision cycles. And here under this toggle, I can display all my long-term objectives uh, when it comes to YouTube and also for each of these objectives I have I have links to them to easily links to say analytics to easily measure them and also I can see all the goals and the projects that I'm working towards when it comes to YouTube as an area and also topics or the skills that I need to master and also under people I have Sabaris who is my video editor and in his workspace you can see I have uh, included a Dropbox bookmark for him to submit videos and also quick links to some important pages like video editing inspiration and whatnot. Now, down here, we have the pre-publish and post-publish sections. And under the pre-publish section, I can just note down any rough video ideas I have. And once these ideas are mature, we can move them down to this table, right? And here you can see, these are all the ideas that I have planned for the next month or so. By default, any idea that we add will be in this not started stage. And then they can be moved up to either the idea or this uh, next up stage. And also when doing ideation, I rate the potential of the video out of 10. This score is based on my research on how many people are actively searching for this topic on YouTube, uh, demand for content in this topic, and also my overall intuition on how this video would perform overall. And this score helps me prioritize the videos that I need to work on first. And whenever I want to work on a video, I can mark it as next up and uh, set this uh, action date so that it would appear in this uh, editorial calendar and also this uh, process view for me to take action. And sometimes when you're dealing with short videos, you may have a lot of ideas, right? In those cases, you can go here and under group, you can group these ideas by some property like say YT topics, which is a multi-select property so that all these video ideas will be grouped based on their topic, enabling you to work on various videos based on different buckets to which they belong to. But I would suggest you to have a separate uh, dashboard for short videos so that you can process them separately for more clarity. When it comes to working on any new piece of content, we have various templates here like new video, new blog posts and whatnot because we have a one master content database for all different formats of content, right? In this case, you need to apply the template that is new video and under here, if you scroll down under tasks, you can plan out different tasks or just click on this button to create all the video related tasks and you can just drag these tasks on this calendar so that they appear in your task manager on these exact dates. And down here, you have various checklists when it comes to scripting or outlining the video, video editing, audio editing, exporting and uploading to YouTube. Here you can see when uploading the video to YouTube, I have various checklist items like including the timestamps, thumbnails, end screen, pinned comment and scheduling the video. Also here you can see by making use of Notion AI, I can just brainstorm various headlines for this video and down here you can include the keywords, note down the thumbnail ideas, generate a description with the help of AI and whatnot. And also here under this script or this outline section, we can choose an introduction that we would like to have for the video or just note down the bullets or the pointers we need to discuss in the video. Personally, I outline my videos. Sometimes I script it. Let me give you an example of an existing video here related to Arc Browser that has performed really well. You can see here as well, I have brainstormed various headline ideas. And when it comes to thumbnail section, these are all the bullet points that I noted when planning this video. And you can see this is the final thumbnail that I've got. And when I scroll down, uh, you can see under the script, we have various 
as subheadings to organize the content and these headings would end up as chapters when I upload it on YouTube. In the script itself, I have included comments for my video editor regarding what B-rolls or what graphics he needs to include in the video. For example, I have recorded a B-roll on how to use AI in the Arc browser and my video editor needs to include the specific B-roll here while editing. This makes a lot of sense than maintaining a separate table called B-rolls. And when I start working on a video with the outline and stuff, I can move that video across different stages like outline stage, drafting stage, and once I prepare it, I can mark it as ready to record or I can mark it as assigned when I delegate it to my video editor and whatnot. And once the video editor submits the video, he moves it to submit it so that I will be notified that, hey, he submitted the video, right? And once it's ready to publish, I can just move it to ready to publish so that it will appear in the to publish view here so that when I'm publishing the video, I can just enter the publish date, fill in the URL and mark the status as published. And next we have the post publish section. Here all the published videos will be visible. You can see all the details that we filled like publish date, length of the content and all the things are visible. Or you can view these published videos in this uh, calendar for a more clear view. And also these videos are visible in this table here where we can note down what went well or what were the mistakes that we committed when working on this video. For example, for this specific video I published on Arc browser, you can see I have noted down that there was really good traction to the video because it had a really good thumbnail and also when it comes to mistakes I have noted that I could have done more research on this video. Based on my learnings from these mistakes I can just tweak my workflow, maybe add or tweak some of my checklists and so on. It's a continuous iteration thing right. Like this we will be improving our workflow in iterations. And once you publish a video it's not the end because I'm a big fan of repurposing my YouTube content to other formats like say blog posts. You can see when I open this video page here under related content I have this blog post which I have marked as repurpose which means I have essentially converted this specific video here to a blog post by making use of Notion AI. Sometimes I also make use of chat GPT but yeah right not only will you be able to repurpose these videos to blog posts but also you can repurpose these to short videos and even tweets like this when you have one platform to manage different types of content creation you can repurpose one format of content to another thus having an omnichannel presence on the internet and if you are interested in knowing how I manage my blog content in Notion, you can refer to this video here. And if you are interested in getting my help in building a custom tailored system for your unique business, you can book a one-to-one -one discovery call with me so that I can help you out. Or if you want to get access to my entire live operating system along with the creator OS, then you can head over to coresystem.io. As I told you, my content management system is just a part of whole live operating system that I have built in Notion to help me manage all my life areas, goals, projects, tasks and whatnot. Again, the link is given in the description. Make sure you like this video, comment, subscribe. This is Akshay Hello. I'm out.